So this past Sunday night, my youngest son, Dylan, made it to the championship game in a league that he's a part of, and he's excited. The game prior to that, he scores a winning goal. He gets his first yellow card. They're excited. The team they're facing, they lost to them 0-1, to one, which means they can beat them. There's 200 people there. Parents were lining up. It's 7-15. Game's about to start. Boom! They start the game, and they end up losing 0-3. to three. The game ends. Kids are crying. They go up on stage, and everybody wants to leave, and the coach is like, no, 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 we got to go get our trophies. Like, nobody wants a second-place trophy. I'm like, okay, let's walk up now. At this point, it's like 9, 9, 30. Sunday night, I got to put them to sleep, but we go up there, first team goes up, and they get this big plaque, and the coach says, say you're a champion, champion, say you're a champion, champion, and Dylan's standing right there, hearing this coach telling him, say you're a champion, 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 and then they go up, and you see them go up with a defeated face, a couple of the kids are crying, they come down, coach has a conversation with them, so I take him to the field, and I start doing a couple things with him that he wasn't doing, and I'm talking to this kid, I'm like, why don't you do this, you typically do this, you typically do that, so we get in, get in the car, I said, Dylan, I want to talk to you about something. He says, what's that, Dad? Because he says, he says, Dad, I like for you to be there when we leave games. I said, tell me why. He says, because I like the feedback you give me. I love the fact that this is what he's telling me. So we're driving home, and I said, Dilly, you know what I noticed about you in the championship game? I said, you were waiting for perfect pass to score a goal. I said, he says, what do you mean? I said, you know, Del Curry is the father of Steph Curry. Del Curry was known as one of the greatest shooters of all, all time. During his time, he may have been the best shooter, and his son duplicated him. The difference, Del Curry was a spot-up shooter, which means you gave him the ball, he hit the shot, right? Steph Curry, they did a study on how many miles he runs in an average NBA game. He runs 2.3 miles in an average NBA game, and a defender, if they look away for two seconds, he's gone, okay? That's what the scientists looked at how Steph Curry plays. I said, the difference... Why Steph Curry, the son, will be a Hall of Famer, he's a four-time champion, is because Steph Curry is a playmaker. Here's Brady over the top. Here's Here's Jordan ready to take off. And Senna has won the jubilant team. Del Curry just waited to shoot the shot. He says, where are you going with this, Dad? I said, you weren't playing like a playmaker. You were playing like, hey, I'm open, give me, I'm open, give me, I'm open. You hustle, you don't play like a playmaker. He says, I don't understand, Daddy. I said, in life, you have to realize how this thing works. What's that? Employees in a company will wait till somebody tells them what to do. You know what they are? They're like the guy that's just waiting for somebody to give him a pass to make a shot. They're not going to move up in any company. And by the way, they can go from company to another company to another company to another company, bitch about the previous company, I, and they'll go five companies, 10 companies, 20 companies, thinking it's the company. You're not a playmaker, but playmakers always move up. We had a meeting earlier this year in January, and I said there's five qualities that I value that you will always have a job with me, always have a job with me. Great attitude, effort, you're a team player, you're constantly innovative and thinking about ideas, and you provide results. Now, if you want to get major raises, then it's, you know, specialized skill, leadership, you know, you know how to deal with people, conflict resolution, but those five I value a lot. So going back to you, watching this video, this is the old school Motivation Monday videos for you. Are you a playmaker? Is that what you do? Or do you wait till somebody tells you what to do? In your family, with your kids, are you a playmaker? Or do you wait for them to come to you with a problem and you tell them what to do? Do you take the initiative to have conversations with them and be proactive before something happens to them? With your finances, are you a playmaker? Or do you wait till God forbid something happens to your family? I wish we had a life insurance policy. I wish I had health insurance. I wish I had auto insurance. You take initiative. The concept of a playmaker isn't about being a soccer player or sports. This past weekend, I took Dylan, my dad's birthday. My dad's turning 82 years old tomorrow. He's born in 1942. And I took my dad to a tennis tournament, the fastest tournament I've been to. An hour and 13 seconds, game's over. But I take Dylan to the quarterfinals of Inter Miami. He's playing Monterey. And while we're at the game, Dylan his persistence, he wouldn't leave. It's a school night. He, we did not leave till 11 o'clock. He made every single one of the employees at in on Miami told everyone, I'm not leaving here tonight until you introduce me to Messi. I'm like, Dylan, these people don't owe you nothing. I'm not leaving. And he's using his charm. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm, you know what I'm doing? I'm not getting in the way. I'm allowing him to be rejected or to close and persuade, right? And finally, I'm just kind of like staying here. And if I was like, okay, just do me a favor. Go in the suite seven and just wait. And I'm going to tell you. But when you do, you have to listen to me. No problem. Game's been over with for an hour and a half. We're sitting in seven. Vinny and my dad are like, we're going to go sit in the car, man. We're not going to see Messi tonight. All of a sudden, the girl comes. Okay, okay come on, come on, come on. The girl's like, oh, my God, where's the... Grab the phone, grab the phone, grab the phone. Walk outside. Walks up to Messi. He's talking to Messi. And you know the famous legendary security guard that Messi has that is always pushing people around? He lets Dylan in. 
Still in a mess here talking, takes a picture. We get in the car, we leave, he's on fire. What's the point? Gotta be a playmaker. He was a playmaker in the area of getting the picture for Messi, but in the championship game. Then on one day, you're gonna watch this video, you're gonna be so upset at me. Why would you make this video? Because one day you can share this video with your kids when daddy's no longer around and tell the story. In life, our job, my job, your job, all of our jobs is to be the best playmaker we can be for ourselves, for the company we work with, for our community, for our background, for our church, for our country, for whatever you do. Your job is to be a playmaker. Your job is not to sit around with opportunities coming your way. Go within the company and make things happen. That mindset will give you higher odds of moving up in any company and having your dreams becoming a reality. If you got value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I got another video I want you to watch. Ready? Called the mindset of a dominator and why the rest of the world fear them. If you've never seen it, click here to watch it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye.